Thank you, Michael, and thank you, Carrie, for inviting me to do this. Uh, before I go on and introduce the next uh, person who's going to come to the stage, I just want to and go with the prompter that they have here for me. I just want a personal note here because of the times we're living in. I think it's appropriate for the person I'm going to introduce and for the times that we're living in. You know, and, and for doing the right thing. You never know who you're going to influence or impact. As I came into the room tonight, and I, just in general, I don't want to point the person out specifically. The, there's a person here who walked up to me and said, you know, you're my hero. He says, I'm so glad to meet you. You're my hero. And he said, do you, you know why you're my hero? And I said, no, I don't know. Why, why am I your hero? He said, because you did something that I could never do. I did, never had the courage to do. And I said, what was that? He said, you came out. He said, you're 65 years. He said, I'm 65 years old, and I never came out. And I said, never, I said, even now? He said, no, not to my family, maybe just a few friends, but I never came out. So in these crazy times that I'm going to leave and go back and report on now, it's going to be all right, people. <laughs> do the right thing. Continue to do the right thing. We're going to be all right. It's good to see you, Speaker Pelosi. To be sitting, it's an honor to be here with you. So good evening, everyone. My name is Don Lemon. In case you don't watch CNN, it's good to be here. I'm here to tell you about a remarkable young person named Deontre Jones. Deontre Jones has always felt hesitant to become civically engaged because as a queer man of color, he's felt like there wasn't room for someone like him in poli politics and in civic leadership. Deontre experienced homelessness when he first moved to New York City. And now as a sophomore at NYU, he has helped organize the RFK Young Leaders chapter there to partner with the organization out of the closet to collect and deliver new clothing to displace LGBTQ youth in shelters all across the city. DeAndre was, says that through RFK Young Leaders, he has realized that he could use his voice to help create change. He registered and voted for the first time in 2018. So, will you please help me welcome to the stage with a big rousing round of applause, Deontre Jones, everyone. Thank you, Don. Whew, a little bit nervous here, sorry. Good evening, RFK Human Rights. <laughs> Good evening, RFK Human Rights family and friends. My name is DeAndre Jones. I am proud to be here today as an ambassador of the RFK Young Leaders Program. <laughs> I came to New York in 2017, searching for a community that would accept me for my whole self as a black, gay, thin man. And let me tell you, it was a struggle. I was homeless. I often didn't know where my next meal was coming from, and I wasn't sure if things would get better. When I enrolled into NYU in the fall of 2018, I quickly realized that everyone around me was just as lost as I was. A whole generation of young people confused and angry at the state of America. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> in the country that we are becoming. I'm just gonna go with my notes. <laughs> That's because my generation does not believe in putting children in cages. We do not believe in closing our borders to people who are suffering. We do not believe in penalizing folks who cannot afford health care. And to be frank, we laugh at those who deny the fact that our planet is experiencing a climate crisis. As a black gay man, politics never seemed like a space people like me could exist in. I started our chapter of RK Young Leaders at NYU to be different, to create a space that welcomes anyone who wants to make a difference. Through our chapter and others on campuses all across the country, 
RFK young leaders are calling out injustice and taking actions to hold power holders accountable. We will not stay silent while those in power destroy our planet, penalize the poor, and drown our generation in student loan debt. We will organize, we will mobilize, and we will act. Thank you to everyone here today for supporting RFK human rights and giving young leaders like myself the platform to create change and realize Bobby's dream of more just and peaceful world. Thank you.